if a demon spirit appears to me right now the first thing is i'm going to why is it there you see if it's there to oppress me it is written can take care of it if god is trying to send a message to me for the body of christ i would discern the message when i'm done the demon will go but your confidence is it is written yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why because thou art with me listen thy rod and thy staff that's what comforts me thy rod and thy staff thy rod and thy staff so i want you to if you don't know what is written it means you are in trouble imagine if jesus did not know what was written and satan says turn this stone into bread he says don't disturb me i am jesus you'll be surprised satan will still be standing there that's why he has not left your life because when you came to him he said i'm a member of koinonia he said nonsense what is that what is you a member of koinonia before you were born i knew about koinonia i was in heaven what is the basis why should i leave you <sighs> okay what else do i say now listen why should you rise in life apostle declared over me you are joking apostle declared according to what i prophesied but i did as i was commanded i didn't prophesy as i wanted john said i am the voice it is not the voice that brings the power it is the word that the voice is echoing are we together now please learn what i'm telling you some of you by this there are papers you need to go back home and tear into pieces and sit with confidence and sleep like a baby and wake up it is written it is written my 2021 is blessed it is written it is written it is written it is written why do you think you'll be exempted from all the limitations that come ah, i am a member of koinonia that that is wonderful when you understand it to be that i am prophetically connected based on what the bible says but if it's just blindly i'm a member of koinonia you will you will be surprised i'm saying this because there are many believers who do not have a scriptural basis for confidence satan leave me alone why I know Apostle Joshua Selman and the demon who say, Jesus, I know. Me too, I know Jesus. Me too, I know Paul. Me too, I know Joshua Selman. You have to stand and say, you better know me too. It is written. Register it in the realm of the spirit that it is written. This is why I know that I will never fail in life. Thank God for the many visions that I have. But depending on those visions for success is deception. The visions are only guides. They are support systems. I tell you the truth by the God of heaven. The basis for the victory of my life. The basis for the victory of this ministry. Is this immutable counsel of God. It is written. It is written. It is written. So when I tell you, you will rise, say amen, but don't just go back and say I will rise. No. When I say you will rise, quickly resort to this foundational encounter. Find the scriptures that support what I said. Then you will rise indeed. But if you just believe that just because I spoke to you, no. Are you seeing the balance now? this is why many of you do not profit from the prophetic ministry the prophetic ministry is not fake it is a genuine spiritual ministry but just because an anointed man spoke over your life just because he revealed and what he revealed was true when he blessed you your spiritual life went down because you had confidence that this man knows god his word does not fail but you ignored it is written It is written, Kali Bakata Siata. 
it is written when men say there is a casting down for me i will say there is a lifting up so based on that when i say in the name of jesus you are exempted from evil as you are saying amen your mentality is connecting that amen with peace that's what plugs it into the power line to produce result anything i tell you don't just say amen connect it to a scripture then you can now say amen are we together now when you wake up from a dream and you see me blessing you and praying for you don't just dance that you saw me find a scripture when you connect it to that vision you have given it life to manifest anything not connected to scripture does not have the life that brings manifestation you can have an encounter be in the realm of the spirit watch promotion and you return back and it will never manifest in this realm but when you connect that vision to it is written some of you is a few days after now you will really get all that i've taught you maybe i will just stop at this third encounter so anything i see i pass it through the encounter with the son does it pass the test i pass it through the encounter with the holy ghost does it pass the test then i pass it through the encounter with scripture if it passes the test then i receive it if it fails that test no matter how accurate it is i dump it in peace and i don't feel bad if you tell me apostle your life will be destroyed for instance I salute what you are saying but I go to it is written until I find the same thing you said here there is no reason for tears weep not for the book is opened you only weep when the book is closed hear me there are arrows that fly by day you don't need a prophet to tell you that there are noisome pestilences there are destructions that waste in the noonday so if someone tells you he's not telling you anything new are we together now he's only revealing to you something that the bible already says what today will someone tell you that the bible has not told you generally speaking if someone tells you there is evil on earth in all honesty is that new it is written already told you if someone to tells you there is a possibility for failure is that new no the bible already tells you most of the things we seek for in encounters scripture has already told us i want to succeed okay so how do you succeed if only i can see joshua selman i know my life will change you are right because of the prophetic dimension as written in scripture however you can sit with scripture this book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do to do to do to do not just to read to do so it may be the doing part you are missing man of god what gives you confidence that you will thrive in ministry i know my mentor I know my father think again I know the spiritual tribe I'm connected to think again hmm. what makes you believe you will prosper I got a first class and then somebody prophesied to me and said I will never fail think again an encounter with the son of the living god you see because we have ignored these encounters many people keep meeting the apostolic and the prophetic ministry but they are never saved do you know that do you know that you can be in church for a long time you can even be part of the eldership and you have not met the son like it's happened to many people i'm not preaching from a standpoint of sarcasm this preaching tonight is coming from a heart that desperately loves the body of christ and god's people generally speaking these were the things that the lord taught me that have given me stability in my life today more than my visions listen if i come for miracle service today and i never see anything i never hear anything 
I can pick my Bible and read for you a scripture about healing and say the sick begin to be healed based on it is written. Don't tie yourself to just vi listen. Visionary experiences and all these supernatural encounters only become useful if they submit to these foundational encounters. If you're a man of God here, learn it and put balance to your administration of encounters. People may clap for you while you are announcing visionary encounters, but sooner or later you'll find out that there is no growth because it is not the encounters create convictions, but their convictions are only strengthened by these foundational encounters. When I learned this, I found rest. I travel for meetings. And people expect to see the power of God people expect to see the grace of God and you would ask me apostle what makes you think that people are going to be blessed I will be stupid to tell you I hope you know that this is an apostolic call I hope you know that there are visionary experiences I will be surprised that I will stand and the heavens will be closed the basis of my confidence is it is written what was written the Lord walking with them confirming the words so every time I walk, I do not walk alone. You invite me, but it's not only me that came. I came with a battalion. So when I came here and I began to speak, and you saw the power of God manifest, it's not just, listen, it's not just because I am anointed. It's not just because I saw. It's not just because something was told my ears. More than those encounters, I know that what I saw submitted to the truth of scripture it is consistent with the character of the son consistent with the ministry of the holy spirit consistent with the character of scripture and i know that god will honor it let me tell you this you walk in this you have received the vaccination for error now god can trust you with visions over nations and you know how to administer the prophetic with accuracy why because you know how to pass it through it is written apostle jesus prophet jesus look at the respect he had for scripture every time they asked jesus a question he seldom spoke about his encounters it is written there are few times you will see jesus talking about his encounters yet he was the fountain of all encounters it is written it is written they say this in your law but this is what i say they say this but this is what i say his first sermon was not encounters his first sermon was the spirit of the lord is upon me because it was written by the prophets because he hath anointed me when he was done he now said this scripture has been fulfilled this day let me prove to you that what is written is now manifest man with the withered hand stretch your hands now if you call him a fake man of God he will refer you to it is written let me teach you something before we pray if you're a man of God here if you know that God has granted you grace for extraordinary manifestations of the Spirit, don't take for granted that the people who you are ministering to understand what you are saying. Show them the scriptural basis of that operation before you begin it, or at least before the end of that operation.